good day. I am Primo and I will be teaching you on the use of T2000. The next test that we want to perform now is the ratio test and polarity test using current as one supposed to use to use uh, that is injecting primary current and measuring the current to the secondary side. For the secondary side connection, so I will connect where you see this is the current metering input. Okay? This is going up to 10 amps. So as we have 5 amps with 300 amps to the primary, I don't intend to generate 300 amps. You will see that uh, we can perform the test without uh, I it. For the primary connection, I use this cable with this connector here. I connect it here, this way. As you see, the uh, cable here is uh, quite thin, so it is not uh, done for high currents, but uh, <coughs> we must use uh, high current. So this is one. This is the other one. And here we are. Now, I selected the ratio polarity and button. I enter. You see, primary current is already there because I left it uh, programmed. Well, here you see there is a, an option, if you want, uh, you can avoid opening the secondary side of the current transformer and use this clamp this way in order to have the measurement coming from the clamp itself. In this instance you have to check enabled and input here the ratio, for instance this is the clamp 1000 to 1. Okay? Next, uh, that's it. I can just start the test, press on, and again here we are, you see, even also in this instance, uh, I have a very, very small current, and this is the secondary current, and you see the ratio is already very close to 60. So again, it is not necessary to go up to the nominal current to perform this test, you can stop at any current, but when you are uh, with an, uh, a ratio error that is uh, small enough, like here 0, 3, 0, 4 and so on, you can press save and that's it. Now I go back again slowly and I stop. Now, we are still in the same selection, but I have moved to the burden selection. In this test, we want to measure the burden that is made of all the loads that are on the secondary side of the current transformer, that is here. Okay? I pretend that this resistor here, it is rated 1 ohm, is just this burden on the secondary side. Uh, what uh, I want to do now is uh, to uh, put in series the burden to the secondary side of the current transformer. Okay, so I remove one wire, I connect it here, and take another wire, and I connect it here, so that the secondary side loop is closed. Now, uh, as we want to measure an impedance, we not only have to measure the current on the secondary side, but also the voltage drop across the button. Okay? So now I connect the clamps, the, the cable that you already know, this way. So here I measure the voltage drop, and here I measure the secondary current. Now I press on, and again I repeat, you see, I have immediately some current on the secondary uh, side, 
Sun current on the uh, some voltage measured uh, on the secondary side. The angle between current and voltage you see is 360, so that is they are in phase. The power factor therefore is 1 and this is correct because this is a resistor. And you see the uh, resistance is not measured in ohm, it is uh, measured in volt amps at the nominal current. That is, even if we have a very, very small current on the secondary now, the voltage rating is almost accurate because with one ohm at five amps it is 25 volt amps. Okay? Anyway, let me increase uh, the current just to show you. Okay? For instance, now I am uh, half an amp, it is 30 amps on the primary, and uh, you see again uh, the voltage rating didn't change. Why? Because again we do compute the resistance and we multiply this resistance by the square of the nominal current. Okay? Next selection is bar the secondary side. Bar the secondary side means that we don't inject current into the transformer but into the button itself. So this is my resistance that is simulating the button. Uh, what we do in this test uh, is to inject uh, a current directly into the secondary connection cables. In this instance, of course, we don't need a uh, high current generation. So you see, the current range that they can select uh, is either 40 or 10 amps. I uh, select 10 amps, uh, you see the, the red light, uh, and I connect uh, to my resistance. This way, okay? Next again, uh, as before, I have to measure the voltage drop across my resistor, and this is what I do. So, with the same cable, I can measure the voltage drop, and uh, again, the test set will do what? Will measure the resistance and compute the voltage rating.